YouTube, what's going on? It's good to be back. Sorry I haven't been uh, uploading videos lately. It's been a busy couple of months. I'm working on a video to kind of update you on what's been happening, why I haven't been uploading, but it's kind of, I don't know if you all know all that nonsense. But um, yeah, so I'm back to making videos. I'm gonna find a way to kind of upload them once a week. And uh, today I thought we'd start with a very easy one, a sun fried chicken burger. Okay, so guys, so the most important thing for the chicken burger is getting marinating inside in your buttermilk. So, get a butter flight, which is just cutting it straight down the middle and open it wide. Helps the chicken breast to cook faster and keeps the breast nice and even and easier to put into the bun and easier to eat. So, get that into the buttermilk. Okay, so guys, we have our chicken breasts marinated in the bottom right there. They'll be marinated for a couple of hours. So what we're going to do, we're going to take the chicken, put some butter flight, and we're going to put it into our flour. And then all you need to do is get a nice coating on your chicken. Not too much, just making sure you get enough of the coating on your chicken. Buried in there. Make sure there's no bits exposed. So what the buttermilk does, apart from softening your chicken, is it helps this crumb, this flour, or whatever you want to call it, stick onto your chicken. So your chicken will end up like this, all covered. So chicken's covered. What's important now is into a preheated fryer. So your fryer must be at about 180. You're shaking off any bit of excess, dropping it into the basket, and dropping it down. And you're leaving it in there till it's golden brown, and then we're gonna take it into the oven. Okay, so guys, you're leaving it into the fryer until you get this nice, crispy, kind of goldeny brown color on your chicken breast so usually chicken breast takes 30 minutes to cook however because you've butterfly this chicken breast it's only going to take you the bones of after frying it 10 to 15 minutes so you're going to put that into the into the fryer and it's going to start cooking the outside in so the longer you leave it in the fryer the more the outside cooks inwards so the longer you leave it in the fryer the less time you have to leave in the oven. So that's why I'm saying 10 to 15 minutes. If you want to drop it quickly and lift it quickly, you're going to have to leave it in for about 15 minutes, maybe a bit more. And if you've left it in a good while, 10 minutes. So as you can see, like thick chicken's just thick enough for a burger, it's not too thick. And you can see how the, the crumb has formed. So into a preheated oven at 180. And now, oh, half, half the success of a good burger a good toast of the bun. Turn to a flat top, toast on one side, then toast on the other, then it's just about layering of flavours, so you build the burger up from the base to the top. So on this burger we're going to go with brioche bun, finely chopped iceberg lettuce, sliced tomato, red onion marmalade, bacon, cheese and garlic mayo. Okay? So we're going to just top and you have to let them get brown. So let those sit, and when they're nicely toasted, we we'll go and we'll assemble the burger. Okay, so folks, as you can see, bun nicely toasted on both sides. So we'll do it. Put some garlic mayonnaise on the base. Put it nice and even it, and then on the top as well. Don't need too much, just enough to cover the bun. Then put some thinly sliced iceberg lettuce. They go on onto the bun. Got the lettuce, stop the short burger bun from getting too wet. Then a couple of slices of tomato. And some red onion marmalade. Just leave that on top there. And that is your bun assembled. So easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So folks, now you see the crispy rashers, the nicely melted cheese, 
and there's the burger ready. All I'm going to do is the burger over from here to there, and the burger will be now, folks. That is one good looking burger. So folks, it's good to be back doing videos. Sorry I haven't been uploading the last couple of months. I will be getting back to regular uploads. I do plan a lot, a lot of videos coming. I'd love to hear back from me. I am going to enjoy this burger now and I hope you'll enjoy this burger. Uh, all feedback welcome. Of course, whatever you like, comment it, share it. Even if you like what you see in the channel, subscribe to the channel. I've got all my social medias linked below and I'll have the restaurant where I work linked up below. So uh, if you really want to follow what dishes we're doing and what, what, what we're actually getting to, that's probably the best page to look at because our daily specials will be going up there and you'll probably keep more in link to what I'm doing. So Danny's dishes page will be going, my other social medias will be going, but the, the link below, Mount Callan House and Restaurant, that's the link to follow. All right, so bon appetito guys. And sure, like I said, if you like what you see, share, comment, even subscribe if you can. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. It's great to be back.